wanted to put something together to uh, kind of explain what this is and uh, I guess what it's not. So this is basically an adapter for NFC antennas that allow you to tune them a little bit easier and kind of not have to hold an SMD component while you're like finagling the antenna uh, ends. So what I have here is a whole bunch of antennas that I bought off of Ali, AliExpress. The issue with them is uh, there's no data sheets available to them and I don't know what they are. But I wanted to somehow reuse the antenna to create kind of a resonance repeater so I can get increased distances and reads on different devices. Like if I wanted to put uh, an NFC lock on my door but I didn't want to have the, the reader visible, I could put the lock on the other side of the door and then implant one of these devices within the door uh, sheathing. And then whatever is brought to it as a uh, device, it's going to get repeated through the door and maybe I might get a better read range. So what I have set up here is my Nano VNA and uh, with the AliExpress key or AliExpress tag, you can see that it isn't really tuned that great. So I have a marker here at 13.56 and you can see it's quite a bit higher than 13.56. So what the idea is, you would take one of these adapter PCBs, want to rip the coil off of this chip. because it's just going to be a donor so I can steal the coil. All right, chips off. I have the coil here. I'm going to take the two leads of this coil. I'm going to run it through antenna one and antenna two on the chip. Antenna one, antenna two. Don't know how well that's going to come out, but the leads are through. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to either use a calculator to determine the correct capacitance or the correct capacitor to use for this particular antenna, or uh, you can do it the quick and dirty way, which I did, is use, use a whole bunch of different capacitors to try to find the one that matches the best. And uh, I've done that quite a bit. If I take a look at the original chip, you can see that it's tuned quite a bit higher than 13.5. So if I throw a capacitor in line and I can see that its tuning is lower than that, I can increase it by removing the turns of the copper that exist. So for this particular chip, I found that I think it was 30 picofarads uh, brings me about where I want to be, where I can tune it a little bit by hand. So to give you an example, this one here is 30 picofarads. 
if you look, it is below, it is tuned below where I want it to be. And all I did was I soldered the two antenna points. And then I soldered the 30 picofarad chip on top. And that's what I would normally do here. But to save time, I'll push that off to the side. And then here is an example of it after it's been tuned. You can see it's dead on. My marker is at 1352, and that is where the biggest power draw is. This here is an example. These two are examples of chip that is out of tune, or the antenna that is out of tune, but we're going to resolve it. So with that 30 picofarad capacitor on, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start unraveling some of the uh, antenna cable that's here. And what I've noticed with this particular uh, antenna is it's about one full turn will bring us where we want it to be. So I'm going to do my best to do this without breaking it. And look at that, I broke it. Broke the trace. All right. Go back to my other one here. Good thing I had two. just gingerly pulling up one full turn out of this antenna and then we'll measure it again. Alright, that is one full turn and I remeasure it. Looks like we're still low so I'll keep going a little bit more. Looks like we're getting closer, so I'm going to keep on taking more out. Closer still. And we are almost there. Alright, I would say that we are there. Now, what I would do is I would heat up this solder joint right here, and I would pull the, the slack out of my antenna cable through. And then I would have a perfectly tuned antenna resonance repeater. So how is this helpful? What I've noticed is uh, with my phone, particularly, especially if I have a case on it, I have a difficulty getting reads on either my implants or other NFC devices. So as an example, I have an implant right here in my hand. If I go to read it, you'll be able to hear my phone buzz, and then you'll also be able to see the light, hopefully. But I have to get my phone right up on it, and that's a successful read. However, if I use one of these devices that are that I've already set up, that's been tuned. So here's one that's been tuned. I'm just gonna stick it on my hand, just like that. You'll see that the read range is significantly farther. I'm going to drop it down. Let's 
see if it can find it. All right. There's my read range without. Just placing it on my hand. Here's my read range width. So, hope that's helpful. Um, these that I'm giving out, they're they're not going to have the antenna on them. It's just going to be the raw PCB, so you guys can use your own antennas, uh, do whatever you want with them, but it just makes soldering those tiny SMD capacitors on here much, much simpler. And it gives you uh, an easier way to attach the antenna as well, and then tune it manually. But hopefully that helps.